Welcome back guys to our third, third Android app development tutorial. Now let's continue our discussion what we discussed in last tutorial, right? Now here in the Eclipse I have created a project screen orientation, right? We are having a main activity and activity main.xml. Now inside our xml file I am having an edit text, right? Now you can drag and drop your edit text right here like this, right? Now I'm having a two buttons increment counter and show counter value. Now on click of these buttons perform action method will be executed that is present in our activity dot Java, right? The second button also the same button the same method will be called perform action. Now in the main activity I'm having the perform method perform action method and I'm all prepared with our switch case statement. Now let's initialize our variable. Let's say int score right now inside the on create let's write score equal to zero so when the activity is created the score will be initialized to zero right now when we click on this button increment button let's increment our value right each time this button is clicked the value of the score variable will be incremented by one right now let's write a toast message for the show value case toast dot make test get application context just write is Let's print the score short, right? Finally dot show. Control shift F, right? It will rearrange our code if the code is going out of the screen, right? Now, now let us do one thing, run our application. Here our app is running now. Presently, let's check the value of the counter. Your score is zero, right? Now let's increment the counter and check it again. Your score is one, again increment the counter. Again check the value, your score is two, right? Now. Let us type something in the edit text. Let's say, hey guys, what's up? Now, let's do one thing. Let's change the orientation of the screen. Control F11. Now, as soon as the orientation of the screen is changed, you can see by default, the text that we wrote in our edit text has been preserved. The value is not initialized to null, right? Now, let's check the counter value as of now. Your score is zero. So the integer value that we declared here has been again initialized to zero, right? So we have to do what? We have to preserve the value of this int score and also we can't take it granted that this edit text will definitely preserve the value in all the API versions. So we will preserve the value of these two stuffs, this int score and this edit text value, right? Now let's move back to our coding part, right? Now let's do one thing, initialize our edit text. Edit text space let's say et et equal to find view by id r dot id dot edit text this was our id right now we have to typecast it to what edit text right let us do one thing let us initialize a string also string edit text string now what we are gonna do we have to override the function named on save instance method on save instance method right now inside our this method we are going to preserve our value now this bundle object out state is going to help us to preserve the value of both the edit text and the integer score right now what we are going to do now first let us extract the value of the edit text and store it in the string et string right for that we have to do what et string equal to edit text dot get text dot to string right this is the format to extract the data from the edit text edit text and convert it into the string right and store it in the string variable et string right now after that let's write out state dot put string you can check the put string option here right double click on it now first is the key let's write edit text right simply edit text and the value the value we have to give et string right now this edit text is the key and this key will allow us to identify our value stored in the et string now this variable et string is nothing but this variable and in this variable what we are storing the value of the edit text right now soon after that let's write out state dot put int right put in string key let's say score itself now the value int value 
score right so when our activity in the portrait mode will be destroyed this method will be called and we will safely save the value of edit text and the int score right now how to retrieve this value back when the landscape activity is recreated for that we have another method on restore control space you can see the function here right now let's extract the value here now in this case our save instance state this bundle class object will help us to restore the value of int score and the edit text right now so let's write what saved instance state dot get string right just we have to give the key name the key is what edit text e d i t t e x t right now store this value to where this statement is actually resembling the value what we typed in the in our edit text so now we have to store this value to where in our edit text so et dot set text right now inside the parameter we have to give we have to give our string and our string is represented by the statement so just cut it and paste it inside right this completes our part for the edit text now let's preserve our score let's write saved instance state dot get int right assign a key value our key was score itself right now this statement is going to extract the value of the score that was saved that was saved here right now let's assign this value to what score variable right now this score will retrieve back its value right now let's run our application and check out hopefully my app will be run successfully without any error right now here i have to enter my name let's write whatever right now let's check the counter value your score is zero now increment the score right then again check the value then again increment again check the value your score is two now let's do one thing change the orientation right now in that case our edit text will be definitely preserved we don't have to worry about it because we have safeguarded our edit text right here now let's check the counter value your score is two bam now you can check even if you change the orientation and the score was initialized to again zero then also due to due to the on save instance state and on restore instance state these two methods has helped you to safeguard the value of the counter as 2 which was previously also 2 in the portrait mode right so in this way guys you can preserve the value of the radio button also checkbox whatever string integer float please make sure that your app contains the flexibility of such thing right so hope you guys got something out of it so see you guys in next tutorial and please subscribe to my channel this is shrakes from smart art signing off and do leave a comment below my video right and have a good day thank you